it's your girl Sheila. I am here with another unboxing. But first, if you didn't notice, my shirt says happy. Because happy is a feeling of contentment and peace like you don't need anything else in the world. And today, that's exactly how I felt when I went down to my mailbox and I got my Allure Beauty Box. Yay! It's my very first one. I'm so excited to see what's inside this box. From my research, it seems like the Allure editors get together and they take their top picks of all the different beauty brands and samples that have been sent and they kind of compile this box together. So this is exciting. This is not just, you know, a company trying to ship a bunch of products to you. This is a well-known magazine that's been around for years. I am so interested to see what's inside of here. So let's see. Are we gonna love it? Are we gonna hate it? Are we gonna cancel the subscription? Are we gonna keep it going? Are you gonna like it, but I'm gonna hate it? Or am I gonna like it, but you hate it? Let me know. Let's get this thing going. All right, here we go. Allure Beauty Box. Hashtag Allure Beauty Box. All right. It looks like they have like a little mini mag in here. Oh, just flipping through it. It looks like it's probably some of the products that they have inside the box. <gasps> Exclusive promo codes inside. Ooh, now you know if I get some good promo codes, I'm going to share them with you. So look out for that. All right, let's see what they have. Ooh, okay. They have something called Au Natural Cream Multi Stick. The Anywhere Cream Multi Stick. And it says... Grapefruit. Hmm. Let's see what this is. Oops. Oops. Drop that. All right. Let's see. Ooh. All right. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, so it seems like this is a cream blush. That makes sense because it is very, very creamy. Almost a little too creamy for my liking. I'm typically more of a fan of powder blushes. Um, as a matter of fact, I love blush. Um, not quite sure because I do have oily skin. I don't know if this is just going to make me look extra oily or if it's just going to give a nice dewy look. So, I don't know. It's worth trying out. Like I said, I'm not sure that it's going to be my favorite item, but it is definitely a very pretty color. It's like a peachy pink color. And it says it retails for $35. Yeah. Um, that's a bit more than what I would pay for my blushes, so not quite sure, especially since it's not the type of blush that I enjoy, but we'll give it a go. We'll see if we like it or not, but honestly, because of how much I pay for this box, I think this box is only about $15 a month. It's actually not bad because truthfully, this looks like a full size item. I don't think this was a sample. I really don't think that was a sample. So wow. I mean, $35, $15. You already got a good value if this is something that you would like. So let's see what else we got in this box. Okay. Well, they sent me a plastic pouch. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing I could reuse it. I'm not sure why or when I would reuse it. But thank you for the little plastic pouch. Um, and I guess it makes sense that this is a full-size item now because this was outside of the pouch. So I guess... That's full size, and by the looks of this, it looks like everything in here is pretty small. So, I guess that makes sense. All right, let's see. First up, we have Mamon. Or is it Mamandi? I don't know. Whatever it is, it didn't come with instructions on how to pronounce it. It says Rose Water Toner. Okay, toner is always good. Get the dead skin cells off your face. Let's see how much it's retailing for. $23. Ooh. I mean, let's see. Oh, it does smell like roses. Oh, it does smell really good, but truthfully, $23 for a toner, it just seems a little high to me. I mean, I've seen really good toners for probably in about the $15 range. I think the one I use right now is by Shea Moisture, and it's like $11 or so. Um, so, I mean, unless this is like some really, really good toner, it's a little overpriced to me, but to each their own, you know, someone may think that that's a great value for what they enjoy. Moving on, let's see what's next. All right, Seriously Soothing Blue Tansy Night Oil. Hmm, it's for normal to sensitive skin. I do have sensitive skin, so I do like that they say it's for sensitive skin. Okay, this is an unlabeled bottle. 
they truly made this as a sample to send out because if I lose this box, I will not know what this is. This could be eye makeup remover. This could be toner. This could be anything other than blue tansy night oil as far as I'm concerned. And this says you actually um, put one to two pumps in your palm and press it into your face and your neck. That's pretty cool. But let's see, it actually goes for $12.99 for one ounce. Oh, that's actually not bad. Um, for oils, I've seen a lot of oils that are really expensive. So to have a nice night oil that you can put on before you go to bed and probably that can go deep into your skin because you're not doing anything in the middle of the night but sleeping and snoring and maybe drooling. It's actually not bad. $12.99 is not a bad price. So we'll give that a thumbs up and give it a try. See if I don't mix up that bottle for something else. And let's see what's next. All right, this says Ren. Evercom Overnight Recovery Balm. Okay, um, sounds like it would be something kind of thicker that you probably slather all over your face. Probably wouldn't do the oil and this at the same time, or maybe you do, I don't know. But let's see how much they charge for this little guy. $48, wow, $48 for a facial balm. Um. It seems a little bit on the higher side considering we just reviewed an oil that's only $12.99 that you do put in your face for nighttime as well. Um, I'm, I'm going to assume that this has a couple extra special qualities that make it cost so much. It says, at night melt balm between fingertips and gently massage onto clean dry skin until absorbed. Doesn't sound like it does anything extra special compared to just using oil. I'm sure the thickness of it definitely does do something, but $48 just sounds like a little high, in my opinion. You know, other people, like I said, may think it's a great deal, but I've never used balm before, so to me it sounds a little high. Moving on. Vichy Laboratories, Mineral 89 Skin Fortifying Daily Booster. All right. It's mineralizing water and hyaluronic acid. And it says, hmm, doesn't really say anything. Ah, but it does say immediately skin is more smooth and tonic and after 28 days, skin is more resistant, plumpy and bouncy. Vividly fresh and healthy looking. Well, I don't need my cheeks to look any more plumpy because my cheeks are plumpy enough. But let's see what it looks like. Well, it's a cute little sample bottle and it has like a little pump. Yeah, that's pretty cool. For all types of skin, even sensitive ones, apply two drops on clean skin, morning and evening, as the first step of your care routine. Okay, sounds pretty cool. $29.50. Hmm, this seems more like a serum. So for $29.50, that's actually not a bad price. I've seen some serums that are pretty expensive. So. Um, if it's doing everything that it says that it's supposed to do, $29.50 does not seem like a bad price to pay for some good facial serums. So I'll give that one the thumbs up and we'll keep it moving. All right, next up we have Biosense Vitamin C Rose Oil. It says it brightens and visibly firms. Directions, massage a few drops on the cleansed face and neck both morning and night. All right, let's see what this little guy looks like. Ooh, that is a cute little bottle of rose oil. All right, and it evens your skin tone and texture. Cool, so it seems like this is another, once again, some type of an oil that you would use for your skin. And let's see how much they charge. $72, wow. Wow, this must be some really good skin oil. I mean, comparing, we just had a night oil for $12.99, but $72, that makes me think this is not just uh, some type of oil that you just slather all over your face and go to bed with. This must really um, have some special, I mean, it does say vitamin C and it does say, you know, it firms your skin. So I'm assuming that's probably why this is a little more expensive. It must be like on the higher end versus the other one may have just been like an average type of oil. So. Not quite sure if that's on my list of things that I would buy. Um, maybe after I try it for a couple weeks and if it does miracles, maybe I'll shell out $72. $72 is a lot of money for me personally. Like I said, some people may be like, oh, that's chump change and good for you. 
happy you could afford it, but for me, um, the twelve ninety nine one might work just fine for me. So, on to the last item in the box. We have Essentials Derma E Microdermabrasion Scrub. Interesting. I've never seen a microdermabrasion scrub. Ooh, it smells really, really good. It smells lemony, almost like a lemongrass or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It, I would think that it would look rough, especially if it's supposed to be microdermabrasion, but it looks, wow, it looks really smooth and actually feels just like, oh, it tricked me. I was gonna say, it looks just like a soft cream, but when I rub it in my skin, I literally can feel the little textured pieces um, kind of peeling away the rough parts of my skin, I guess. I guess that's what it's supposed to do, peel off my dead skin. So let's see how much they charge for this. $32.50, that's actually not bad. I would think $32.50 is not a bad price for a scrub, and especially if it's something that you could use on your face and it's gentle enough, but will give you that at-home microdermabrasion. I would give that a thumbs up. Thirty to fifty is not that much, especially it's not something that you would use every day because you definitely don't want to use something so harsh on your face on an everyday basis. So I would think that it would probably last for a good while. Um, Thirty to fifty, I think it's worth it. So overall, guys, I mean, if we look at a recap of everything that we've gotten, um, I'm surprised that they didn't have more makeup in this kit. Um, honestly. I'm more of a makeup fan than a skincare fan, even though skincare is very, very important. But this is the only makeup that we got, and it wasn't my favorite thing, only because I don't like um, creamy blushes. You know, I do prefer powder brushes. Um, so that was kind of a bummer. But overall, um, some of these seem like really high-end products, which is great because I probably would not be likely to just go in the store and buy these unless I did get these samples and did get a chance to try them out. So I'm actually thankful that I did have that opportunity. Uh, like I said, there's a couple different oils, the toner, smells really, really great. Um, a little overpriced, but you know, if it can do wonders compared to the toner that I currently have, why not give it a try? And this overnight recovery balm, yeah, I guess we could give that a try and slide it on my face and see how is it different than just using that night oil. And then maybe I could tell you and we could figure out if it's something that's worth buying in the future. Overall, guys, I mean, considering I probably only paid $15 for this beauty box, it's not bad. You get to try some high-end products here that are handpicked by the lower editors. And if they work for you, great. And if not, you know, you didn't pay full price for them anyway. And truthfully, if they do work, at least you've got a real honest chance to try a good product before you actually shelled out like 80 bucks for it. So I would give this a thumbs up, guys, um, overall. I mean, like I said, there were some downfalls, but overall, it gets a thumbs up from me. Let me know your thoughts. Would you subscribe to this box or would you cancel your subscription after getting this box? Let me know what you think. Make sure you like this video. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos if you haven't yet. And I appreciate you tuning in. Bye, babe.